We are learning more about the case of the four students murdered near the University of Idaho, and the more you hear, the worse it gets. Yesterday, a judge unsealed the investigator's search warrant for suspect Brian Koberger, and it included details of what they say that they found at his home. Lilia Luciana joins us now with the latest on this story. Lilia, good morning to you. Good morning, Gail. Well, the unsealed warrant reveals how police established probable cause to search Koberger's apartment and, importantly, what they recovered from it. The documents present geolocation evidence from what investigators believe to be Koberger's phone after the killings, alleging, quote, it is likely that he still had blood or other trace evidence on his body when he returned home, and, quote, likely that some trace evidence was transferred to areas in his apartment as a result. Police say the list of items seized from Koberger's apartment in Pullman, Washington, includes a nitrite-type black glove, eight possible hair strands, a computer tower, collection of a dark red spot. We don't know exactly which item that was. It wasn't specified. Plus cuttings of a reddish brown stain from an uncased pillow and two mattress covers with multiple stains. We don't know what those samples reveal at this time. Of course, we hope to learn later in a trial. And police haven't released a potential motive for the killings of those four University of Idaho students in November. Koberger is due back in court for a preliminary hearing on June 26. As we know, we has not, he has not entered a plea. But if found guilty, he could face life in prison or the death penalty. All right, Lilia, thank you very much.